mejores instructores de trading del mundo, Rob Booker ha venido por quinta vez consecutiva al Forex Day a hablar de trading algorítmico y cómo afecta a nuestras rentabilidades. Además, hemos podido escuchar de primera mano qué opinan los estadounidenses de la presidencia de Donald Trump y nos ha dejado algunas perlas muy interesantes. This is really more of a, a philosophy or a, a philosophical approach to trading where so many traders, especially when they first start, they either want it to be a win or a loss. They want it to be a yes or a no. But sometimes a trade is a maybe. Sometimes it's not immediate. And we have to feel comfortable with uncertainty and comfortable with not knowing the final answer immediately. And that's, what, that's why I think this is better because so much of trading is uncertainty and waiting and unpredictability and doubting whether we should hold our position and learning to deal with that uncertainty is so important. So for example, we have Trump in the United States and so when Trump speaks, the markets move. And so there is so much uncertainty. This week is good, but next week could be bad. Or uh, this week, last week he talked about tariffs with Mexico and the markets moved wildly. And so in, in these uncertain times, it's more important than ever to be able to start a trade small and hold a trade through turbulent, violent movement. I think the Federal Reserve lowers interest rates because Trump is unpredictable. It's the first time ever that we're dealing with this personality. And I think he's so unpredictable. The trade wars or political unrest or, uh, uh, I mean, he's so unpredictable that I think, I think they lower interest rates or keep them low specifically because of Trump. Europe is even more sensitive right now than even the United States. They have so many more issues. They have political issues to deal with uh, between uh, Britain and the, and the rest of Europe. They have financial issues to deal with. We still haven't solved uh, the Italy debt situation, Spain, Portugal. We still have all of these open questions. So absolutely, it makes more sense for Draghi to move first. I won't buy any stocks for the long term right now at all, none. Only after the market corrects significantly. So I'm saving most of my money for an eventual market correction. I want to buy Facebook at a big discount. I want to buy Amazon at a really big discount. I want to buy, um, I want to buy these companies only after they fall much farther from where they are now. Next year. Next year. Yeah, 2020. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm excited, yeah.